great stand this year, the BMW in uh, Detroit. I think they've done a phenomenal job with all this lineup. In Detroit, they seem to be launching three cars right now, M235i, M3 and M4, all M products and all uh, engineered by the, by the guys in uh, Darking. And um, you know, the entry level here, the M235i, it's a car geared towards enthusiasts. And uh, the idea was to really build the successor to the popular 135i, but with an M flair. And then a the next step up, you'll go to the M3 and M4. And BMW decided to bring both of those here, you know, along with some really special colors, the Yas Marina blue on the M3 sedan, and then the Austin yellow M4, the reminds of the Phoenix yellow on the E46. So I mean, the M M235i, I just love the fact that they're trying to get so close to the 1M. And, uh, and it really shows what you, you can do with a compact package, beautiful design, and a, and a really great engine. So that's, that's one of my favorites, and I think on, on track, that car will be absolutely phenomenal. And then the M3 and M4, BMW is really going back to their roots, as I said earlier. I mean, they've not just designed the cars to look appealing to everyone, but they also shed quite a bit of weight off the cars. And, you know, even reducing the engine from a V8 to a six-cylinder, I mean, those cars will be absolutely phenomenal on the racetrack. So to me, you know, seeing M really spending the time to reduce the weight on cars and lightweight materials shows that, you know, that they're thinking forward. And that's what we should be seeing probably in the next few years with other M products. And uh, we're just happy to be here and take a look at the, the cars and be able to uh, report back. And uh, we look forward to uh, Geneva, where I think we're going to see uh, even more impressive uh, products coming out.